Alrighty, like two years ago, I made a video coming out to the window cleaning resources warehouse in Warwick. Me and Josh, Jersey, are now at the Florida, New York location. So window cleaning resource moved here last summer yeah. in July. Yeah. So did a tour with the old warehouse. Let's do a tour of the new warehouse. And we'll just kind of walk on in and just kind of check everything out. Over here is where everyone's working very hard to make sure your orders go out every single day. And we're just gonna take a walk around basically all the aisles and check out just everything that goes on here and give you kind of the behind the scenes look. Um, so we'll start right in this area where all of the pure water systems are stacked up after they are built. So something new from the last time that um, we were at the Warwick warehouse was that all the systems were not being made as far as the zero systems in house, but all of these are now made here in this warehouse. And we'll go look down at that aisle here in a bit. So we got zero piers. We also got pier water power systems, all stocked, ready to go for this fall and even into winter time and spring, which is a crazy amount of stock. So the nice thing is, is that when you order something from Window Clean Re Resource, it can be shipped out the same day. Josh. Tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, this is like cool to see how much stuff is just ready to sell. Cause I know people don't always know how much we sell, but there'll be days when we're selling just, you know, dozens of systems and to have all this stuff just at the disposal. This is why shipping so fast is because we have it, they can get it out there. I mean, if you watch the shipping people, they're just so stinking efficient at what they do that it's, uh, it's pretty awesome to watch. So this is like eight, we see over here about 8 45 in the morning so super super early everything just got started here by the end of the day we see a bunch of packages here ready to go with fedex or ups this is where everything gets packaged up this is where they add in your free air fresheners where they triple check everything double check everything what's this postcard here Did you oh see oh that? yeah <laughs> oh yeah little awc oh well, well, well. No, there's tj oh, yeah. <laughs> Free stickers, best stickers in the biz. Get everything packed. Oh, here's here's Alex, one of the owners. Alex, say hi. Hey and then uh, let's see. Let's just walk down the aisles. Of window cleaners dreams, window cleaning buckets. Josh, how much stock do you think we have as far as compared to others? Amount. We have millions, a millions of dollars of stock just is on the shelf ready. And something interesting for just people to understand the like scope of what we do. There's two trucks that come here. There is a pickup at, well, there's actually like four trucks that come here to pick up stock, but there is a pickup at noon. And then at like 4.30, 4.45, trucks start lining up just to take packages. That's how much there is. There's overnight stuff and expedited shipping and standard shipping and, and all of that. It's just, the, the way that this all works to be able to have it, pick it, and get it in a box ready to ship is just, it has to be fast to work like that. So sometimes you guys will put in an order and you'll say, hey, I wanna add something to the order, but if you did it in the morning and you're trying to do that in the afternoon, it's probably already shipped. So as some of you guys know, everything is just shipped super, super fast. Swag, we're probably the only distributor who has our own sick swag that everybody to likes to wear and represent yeah. like tons of stickers crazy crazy stickers zero stickers wcr stickers craig's soap um skateboard decks like who's doing skateboard decks that's insane yeah zero what's the other ones wcr we've got window cleaning history and wet and willy the squeegee life Go check out the podcast. Alex and I were talking about these yesterday, even like high rise four hair brushes. I mean, just like everything you could possibly imagine. This is for uh, if you're oh, in yeah. a kombucha, I think yep. is what these are for. <laughs> and then extension pole galore. So any newbie in the biz or anybody that just loves aluminum poles, we always have crazy pole stock. Also with like all the carbon fiber poles, but Unger, Mormon, Ettore, Mr. Longarm, Poolex, Sorbo, California Dreams, everything you could possibly imagine there. 
Did we just go through that aisle? Not yet. No. So let's go down this aisle. There's like some things that we sell too that I don't think people even understand. Like a lot of these like bucket accessories and yes. stuff where you have like, if you're using round buckets, this is so the dirt goes to the bottom. You have, you know, just a lot of things that are in this warehouse that you don't even really realize that we sell like. Yeah, these, these are for um, the bucket handles for like, these style, you basically take this off and you put these on, it's a lot more comfortable grip. These are like a dollar, I think. Yeah. Make sure we put these back in the right place. These are the Sorbo buckets for the quadrupod for Sorbo. So, I mean, we carry a heavy, a heavy amount of stock. Always stocked up on steel wool. We got the copper pads. What do you think of copper pads? I like the copper pads. Yeah. I, I, I feel like people are a little torn on them, but I know that they can do, I've heard they can do, I couldn't get them to scratch. So really? for me, it, they seem pretty good. It's not bronze wool though. Bronze wool is just was so Bronze good. wool is so great. It was so, so good. We got some grackles here, the infamous grackle, sponges. I'm not a huge fan of sea sponges, but Frank Rafe. Well, I just never really used them. Like I know people use them high rise to clean off frames or to maybe like kind of pre-detail. Yeah. Dude, so when you know how like after you clean a window and there's that puddle on the bottom and you use your towel to do that. Yeah. Use one of these and you just keep it in your pouch. You can suck up that water super fast. Dump um, it. Squeeze it on the ground and then you got it again. Then you're not dirty in those towels all the time. It's true. But we have those in small, medium, large. This, I don't know what you'd want. <laughs> like, <this is> so, <laughs> so many different rubbers these days. Um, that's the cool thing with rubbers, and we've seen all these different colors come out lately. You know, the, the blue NXT, Unger Green, and whenever you see these colored rubbers, these are a um, silicone blend with the rubber, and that's what's really making them. Sometimes they can be a little stickier than normal rubber, but they're really becoming a very, very common thing that window cleaners love. Um, Edaray, trusty Edaray. These must be the Magnums. Yep. <laughs> Let's see, what else? Um, T-bar galore. Everybody loves their T-bars. Sleeve galore. If you guys have any questions about any of the stuff you're seeing in this video, comment below. I'm happy to answer any of your questions. My favorite sleeve is the Edaray Pro Plus. Edaray Pro Plus. It's the best. Josh, what is your favorite sleeve? My favorite sleeve is a ninja. Ninja? It's still a ninja. Because it's just so aggressive? Or, yeah, it's just or you like, just feel like a ninja? And that's true too. It's just like the best mix of like aggressive but also still holds a bunch of water. Yeah. Before this, I was definitely still the, 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 actually the Pro Plus, not the Mighty Sleeve. Uh, I also do really like the Fugo too. More um, aggressive. Yeah, I, I don't know. It is I just, a super aggressive sleeve though, it's nice. I'm okay with always having an aggressive sleeve. Like I know some people like to switch between them and only use them for certain things, but I don't see the downfall. No. I mean. You just don't want to use it on tint, but you know, just be careful. You can also get that in the uh, Fugu Flick. Everybody's favorite squeegee channels here. Edaray Brass, my favorite. Josh's favorite, the Liquidator, Poo Poo. Uh, Unger S channels, Unger S plus channels, Sorbo, The Godfather, The American channel. Love it. I'm packing the orders. Getting your orders out Friday morning. Here is all the zero hose that we use for water pipe poles. Available in many different colors. Blue, neon yellow, red, orange, green, purple, black. Oh yeah. If uh, you guys ever want a Stevo sticker, just ask me and I can put one in order for you. They're only uh, $99.99. Don't worry about it, y'all good. So here is some orders getting ready for the day to go out. They have a very, very well organized system here that Alex and Chris have put together. Uh, as you can see, a lot going on. This is a Friday, so it's not nearly as crazy as a Monday, but. Actually a fun uh, bit of information is on Mondays, the Pickers and Packers actually doubles the staff yeah. uh, come in just special for Monday. Towel galore. I feel like this video is already so much better than my last video just because of how much stock is here now compared to even 
at the old warehouse. There's just so much stuff. Univalve for Roy. Yeah, how cool is that just to look at how many univalves? You know? It's like a million dollars of univalves. <laughs> right. <laughs> Everybody's favorite towels. These are my favorite. Zero fish scale towels, XLs. I love these things. Um, Edray micro swipes. Squeegee Life towels from Squeegee Life. I have an interesting question for you. Yes. Most people who are watching probably don't, don't even know that this exists, but have you ever used this? I haven't used it just because I can make my own with my pure water system, yeah. but it's pretty cool in that you can create pure water, right? With putting water in here and then adding this powder. Yeah, is that what a, it is? It's a little DI bag. It's a little DI bag. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So you basically put it in here, fill it with water, shake it, and then you squirt it out and it's pure water. So it's for filling like, say you need a small thing for like a Clino <laughs> or like a, you're using it with the pad holders or any of that stuff. All of these you know, pad types, now you have pure water, but you have it on a very small scale. That's pretty sweet. I thought it was always a powder, I'll be quite honest. Well, I'm losing points here. <laughs> Yeah, no. If you're not using the things, you know, a ton, then. So this is like, yeah, bring this out for a second. So everybody asks us about like indoor water fed pole. There's really only two things that you could consider right now that are like kind of water fed pole and that this uses pure water and you can do like half and half with like rubbing alcohol and then it sprays over the pad. You polish windows. These come from one foot all the way up to 30 feet. And so right, you see here, I think this is just the one footer. Mm -hmm. And so you fill up that bulb, spray it over, polish out the windows. And this is used for windows that are cleaned often or you know, skylights in a commercial area that just you can't get up to anything else with. So IPC makes these poles all the way up to 30 feet or Unger Stingray is a good one too. Yeah. Everybody's favorite techno pad, all the different pads you can buy for it. I think you did a video on this before, right? I think Maybe I did, yep. Or, or just a couple, love this tool. All sorts of pre-filters, chloramine filters become very, very popular this year uh, just due to so many water plants using chloramine. Chloramines damage ROs just as much as chlorine, but they're a cheaper option for water plants to use. A huge old sediment filter. You want to say hello? Hello. Hello. <laughs> All the different soaps. Soap galore. This has been my favorite lately. Crazy Larry's. It's a little expensive. I think this bottle is 130 bucks. Super concentrated. Yeah. But, but it's still like It's like Dawn on steroids. Yeah. That's what I would call it. I mean it I love it. But many people love their glass thing four, glass thing three. Uh, we got EBC Gly, that's a newer one this year. Not as not new on the market, but new. Um, so many other chemicals, gutter zap, an MD80, just tons and tons of stuff cement off uh oil flow is a thing that not a lot of people know about that is a really good adhesive remover what's that called cement off i seen that weird cement off cement i like that, I like that. what do you what do you use oh cement 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 i like it, I like it. Skin. Just, you know we're being super creepy <laughs> See those up there? I haven't even really seen those, but we just uh, had like a 21 bottle order just yesterday mm -hmm. for it. Oh, what was the guy's it's name on it? System. It was a lady. Oh. So I actually used this many, many years ago. Uh, Did this come through in the audio? Uh, no, the audio is here. <clears throat> I used this a long time ago, probably talking 15 years ago. Uh, I found this, I was doing some scratch repair in Minnesota and I found this product. Uh, it works awesome for plastics. Anything that you have like plexiglass that is hazed over, if someone ran a, a, a blade across there or a white pad or something like that and scratched the hell out of plexiglass, you can absolutely bring it back to better than new quality with this stuff. Uh, it just strips it down. It just rips off the first layer basically. It's an abrasive <clears throat> and it's two steps. So you get the heavy duty and then the uh, fine on there and it brings it back to like glass. It's pretty cool. Wow. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool wow. stuff. Yeah, I mean, it, it's not something you would use every day, but if you need to restore something, and again, plastics, it, it works really well. And that's a three polish system too. So you start from one, you go one to two, to two to three, kind of, or three. Yeah, I mean, kind of three normal. to the two, you can actually stop at that. The one is, is just like a, a cleaner and shiner. You know, mm. yeah, in my opinion, I don't really need the one, but we have it. Yeah. Nice. I mean, you need everything. You need everything. <laughs> 
This no, is like our to, water stain remover. I like to be honest. All your clamps, if you ever want extra clamps for your poles, we always got those available. I used to love these clamps. They're some of my favorite. Speaking on of your stingray pads. What is this? Thank you. This is like one of those things that... A little duster. A little duster. A lot of people don't even know we have some of this stuff. Nope. Yeah, if you ever want dusting tools, uh, if you want to upsell cleaning fans or just dusting, dusting blinds, you can always do that. This is actually a tool that some really love and then some don't know about either, but it's like a side holster spray bottle from Unger. Yeah, you put it on your belt and then if you need to have it, you have it. Right there, ready to go. We'll see. Here's an interesting thing. Yeah. If people are watching and uh, you feel like commenting, uh, let Steve know how many products you think we sell. How many different products we sell. I have a funny feeling that everyone will be way, way wrong. Let's see. What else here? Oh, a lot of just the Unger and light different pole stuff. Unger made a new and light water fed pole. You got all the different angle adapters. I know this doesn't show it extremely well, but there's so many different attachments for the Unger and light. This is like the extender, oh man, on my hose. This is the older style. The newer is the 516th. People love the Edray Super Channel. Just in case you want a, need a huge channel. giant channel. Have you ever used one of those? I have. You like them or are you? Mm -hmm. It's not my favorite. Yeah. Yep. I don't like having to buy. Just keep that to myself so Edray doesn't get mad at me. <laughs> a little bit of high rise stuff. We're not. Huge in the high-rise market, as you guys saw last September. Josh and I went out and got training by Jeffrey Scott in Wisconsin, which was awesome. But there's so much to learn in this realm that um, we're still learning, still adding more products for this. Um, it's not our forte either. No. So it's one of those things that we have, but yet, as you can see, our section's small. Yeah. A lot of like the rope and stuff is up there just because it takes up so much room, but. But yeah, if you ever need rope, we got it. Stack letters, got these. If you got a stack letter and you're saying to yourself, my gosh, these are so sticky. These aren't coming apart easy enough. Some things you could do, my suggestion, maybe take a little bit of sandpaper, just kind of grind these out a little bit, maybe a little bit WD-40, but also they're gonna break in over time. So just know that if you're buying a stack letter. Uh, I've been getting a lot of comments about that late, late, lately. And we also have the four foot sections uh, that were gone for a very, very long time. And Metallic brought those back, so. Actually, Metallic brought those back, because I think in part by us and suggestions. And you, and like all the window cleaners, suggesting it in like pro window cleaning. Chris, I think really went to him with, hey, this is a thing people want. And they did it, which was pretty cool. And I think maybe they're talking about the taller eight foot sections maybe for the top or something? We sell I don't know. more of the ladder sections than I believe the rest of the entire industry does. Yeah. So they, they tend to listen to us, which is awesome. Then we got like more ladder accessories here. These are like my all time favorites, uh, extended leg levelers. I stand by these, been using them for 15 years. Love them. The pivot tool, if you need this for like stairwells or just awkward areas on the outside kind of see how it's used a little bit there cool tool even for the roof these things are really well built yeah they're they're way more better built than what they would look like in the pictures if you just saw it online you might think it's like a cheap plastic but super super nice oh let's see here bonnet I had someone say that they got a bonnet and they said it was two times larger than any bonnet they've ever received. Hmm. Would you say this is a pretty That's average a, size bonnet? There's gotta be only one size like, anyway because they like fit on the A-frame. Yeah, you may like shrink down over time, but I don't know. <laughs> uh, let's see, zero rubber hose. A lot of you guys like this. This is a hose that goes from the output of the system to the pole. Keeps your pressure very consistent. Uh, we have these on reels as well, but it comes in 50, 100, 150 as far as the lengths go. Chemical galore, more chemicals. Uh, WCR last year got the award for 
selling the most F9 bark out of any distributor, or F9 in general, not just F9 bark. I think almost all of them too, we've gotten awards now in all of the brands. I mean, I think uh, EcoChem, which by the way, if you're not using this, is like the greatest thing. Here's something interesting about EcoChem is they changed this because our industry, we use so much of this. It's still exact same product, yeah. but it now says glass and it is the exact same thing that you've always had they literally added a word and that's it that's a question we get a lot about especially pressure washers you use one restore because they're like man i've used this for years why does it say glass same exact thing you can even look it up on their website and it will show you it's the same exact thing the gallons of f9 f flow glass clean four f9 double eagle f9 grounds keeper and we have five gallons in one restore too so all you could imagine. So now, we've pretty much walked through a lot of the distribution area as far as all those products. Now, we are walking more into manufacturing um, as far as they have started to make a lot of the stuff their own, uh, reels, systems, what else? Um, yeah. We're now oh, getting brushes them, in. We're not yeah. putting the bristles in, but we're putting the jets in, putting the hoses on, putting the fittings, putting the sockets. Um, all the zero HD reels are made here. Um, so a lot goes on in between these a, aisles. Another thing that people don't understand is how much building goes on and how many people are on the build teams alone for everything, you know? Yeah. So we are going through manufacturing. So these are where some of the hose reels are made, like the pure water power. This is the 3.8 rubber hose that's being put on these. Anything crazy about these? This is like a half inch giant stuff. Oh wow. This is Curry Tech, like uh, is that bigger stuff. Wait a second. Because that would be your 3.8s right there. Can we just find something different? Yeah. <laughs> By the way, if you see anything in this video you're not supposed to see, <laughs> just don't tell anybody. Yeah, just don't, don't talk about it. We'll get this approved by Chris before There's it goes your out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds about right. Oh. Oh, some more manufacturing going on. Leather, manufacturing leather this morning. Borings, yep. Risers, these are risers for the DI tank, I would guess. One cubic, we now have one cubic DI tanks, all in black. So if you like DI, you can do that. Black diamond rubber cutting. <laughs> you know what's also crazy is the boxes. Just like, just you don't boxes. understand how many boxes you go through or how many just pallets of boxes are all over. Well, if you're ever wondering if we have good pole stock, as you can see here, we have insane pole stock. So like, and we run out of these during the spring. Like, it's crazy. And this is unboxed. If you look over there, those are boxed. Yeah, so, it's like so straight through there, all boxed up, ready to go. But, I mean, something new, zero gutter poles. We have a 30 foot gutter pole with the IPC gutter vac you can get. Um, Zero Pro Basics are probably the most popular. Uh, they're the best price carbon fiber pole that we carry. But yeah, there's a Zero Gutter Pole. Add-on sets, Zero Pro Ultralight 30, super, super good owner-operator pole. Um, destroyers, my, by far my favorite pole just because of how stiff they are. This is gonna be the most expensive pole we carry, but is gonna grow with your business the best out of any pole that we have. Oval extensions, oval poles, zero micro, the most popular residential pole. You can get these in all black. Uh, I think we got some M9s here, neon green micros, Caribbean blue camos. The camos are 10% off right now. And then you have the zero micro destroyer, same stiffness as the regular destroyer, but in a collapsed version. Everybody's working hard. It's a cloudy day here in New York. A little rainy. So now we go into zero manufacturing as far as the systems go. There's a lot going on here. We won't bother anybody. Um, all premium, premium fittings that we have here. These you usually find on the max or the triple. All the frames for the zero pure systems. You'll get a red frame if you get a zero pure plus. You'll get a green and blue frame if you get a Zero Pure Max Plus. You'll get a black frame if you get a Zero Pure, Zero Pure Atom, Zero Pure Max, or Zero Triple. One cool thing about the Zero Triple, do we have a Zero Triple? Uh, 
Oh, can you right here? There's one. Oh, we can go check out those, yeah. Zero triple is gonna be like a reinforced frame. Are you okay if you're on camera? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Hard at work putting these systems together. I mean, this is insane. How many systems, how many frames are here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. There's about 36 systems being built here right now. A lot of these assemblies all ready to go. All the pre-filter caps, all the DI filter caps. So well organized. Oh, here's the zero triple. So I was just saying about this is, uh, Josh, you wanna tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, the triple is the most water production you can get out of an unpowered system with zero. Uh, it's crazy. It's, it's even more than some people might need water-wise. But a system like this is going to put out three times the water flow as a standard system and there is no pump. It's just sequential filtration and the way that everything is plumbed together allows it to continue to filter itself and use more of it with still less restriction. So, One really cool thing is you'll see down here, this is your only wastewater valve in this whole entire system. So the way this is plumbed is that these two ROs, one, two, are pushing their waste into this. And then the pier of this is being added in with the pure water that's coming from these two right at the DI. So that's how you're getting this higher output. But it's really nice because you have a very low waste. You don't have a you know, 1.5 gallon waste because you have three ROs. You basically have a half a gallon of waste. So it's really recycling that water as well. So it's a large system. It's not a system you're gonna wanna wheel around a lot. The frame is you know double reinforced, so it's heavier. As you can see, it's a large system, but um, and you can run three pulls off of this at one time. Yeah. Okay, three gallons per minute off of 100 PSI. Insane. So it's busy, busy, busy. Not trying to mess up anybody here. Everybody's packing. Getting that white powder in those bags. You guys always ask questions about. <laughs> That's how WCR really makes their money. Yeah. <laughs> Well, anyways. <laughs> well, you can, but there's like, cause we do our- That's true. Other stuff. We could just end it here. Well, that has been the new WCR warehouse tour. Uh, if you guys have any questions, comment below. Both Jersey and I are sales reps for Window Clean Resource. You can contact us both. If you see any equipment in this video you wanna get, uh, we sell all of it. So we'll talk soon. Peace. <laughs>